welcome to Cooking on Gin. <laughs> Tonight, I've, uh, I've drunk more gin. You forgot what you're cooking. Mm. <laughs> we are cooking Mogul Chicken Korma. Let's have a look. Mogul Chicken Korma, and it should look like that. We'll see, won't we? Mm. I'm convinced tonight it'll be all right. We've got three breasts down there. They're quite small. Put four in if you want. Yeah, I might put four in. So oh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna start with chopping the onions. Zarina's favourite thing to do. Yeah. Right, I chop in half, then you can. Zarina. Yeah. And in the kitchen we have Chef Zarina. Zarina, who's repass. gonna chop us them off? I just need my coffee. Might be a bit quicker if Dad does it. To be fair. You know what I love doing? Later. You know what is... What you love so, doing? Drink, drinking gin? No, but I love taking the foil off the coffee. It smells really strong, that coffee. It smells it's like hazelnut. onion and... How onion and smell onion? Because she's chopping onion. Onion and hazelnut. You could chop them a bit thicker than that, Rena. That's it. We have ground almonds, which we didn't need because we needed, actually needed flake, flake almonds. You said we needed ground almonds. No, you told me. No, I didn't. You, yeah. you had the shopping list in Aldi. Does it say it on the shopping list? I was going to go wash your hands if you've got it on your hands. She always rubs her eyes for some reason when she's jumping on you. And we <laughs> have light, soft brown sugar. And uh, plenty of uh, cream. Cream. I think it says 250 ml of cream. It says 250 ml of cream, but we're going to put in 350. Why? Because we're going to make more. We have to put more of everything else in as well. Oh. Though. Yeah. Cooking on gas. Right, so we're going to put a bit of oil in. A bit of oil. A bit of oil. A bit of oil. A bit of oil. To Chef Mike. So we get the oil nice and hot. We're going to throw in all the onions. You always start the onions with a curry, don't you, for some reason? Right, so there's quite a bit of onion there. Now, we're going to go to the farm. You know what? Some of it's not sharp. We'll move these out of the way. It's in case we burn the... It's spitting. It's spitting. Everybody get in. It actually looks really nice. I could just eat that on its own, mate. It's fried onion. Yeah. No, no, oh, you're spitting at me! It's spitting. A little bit of oil in. Don't be afraid to use the oil. Get, give it quite a bit of a bit of a drench in. You want to burn your finger? <laughs> you did burn your finger, didn't you? I did, didn't it? You did. Iron Man. I am the Iron Man. I am the Iron. Ah, put me sugar! Me sugar! Oh, me sugar. So now we uh, cook this off between six and eight minutes. Just. Fry your onions off six to eight minutes, and then we'll add the corner paste. So you get, with this one you get three pots. Let's open them up, let's see what there is. We have the corma spice. Nice. Which you don't, don't need yet. We have the coconut and garlic puree. Nice. Don't need that yet. Go with gin! <laughs> And uh, we need the Korma curry paste, which goes in next. And this is all from Simply Cook. Simply Cook. So now we're going to add a tablespoon of water. We've got no water tonight, so we're going to add a bit of gin. Bit of gin. Tablespoon of gin. Bit of a tablespoon. Here we go. There you go. Bit of gin. Bit of gin. 
Right, so we've been cooking this for about five or six minutes. And we're gonna add the korma, or the, yeah, the korma curry paste. Just like that. It looks dark for a korma. It'll lighten up once we get yeah. the... Uh, coconut milk. Coconut, no. Yeah, you put, you put coconut milk in it. No, we put uh, single cream oh, in Oh, cream. Aha, uh -huh, cream. Then we'll give it a bit of the old stir. So I've mixed that in. Now it's time to add the chicken, which I've, I've partly defrosted in the microwave. Uh, and we're just going to throw it all in. And the garlic paste. Is so that what's next? Yeah. Time to add this bad boy. Well, we're going to cook this off for about five minutes first. Then I will add the paste. Looks really nice. So we'll just simmer that for about five minutes. The trouble is with chicken, you can overcook chicken and it gets a bit tough. So you've got to be careful, you've got to find that half medium. We're cooking chicken. <laughs> happy meal then. Happy Go on, meal. get a happy Find meal. Find that happy meal. It's easier. And just sew in the chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. And we're done. So we've added the curry paste, we've added the chicken, now we're going to add a coconut garlic puree and fry for one minute. Oh, and then you've got to add 150ml of water and stir it in. Ah, we don't have water. We don't have water. We're not having gin. Got gin. Why? What's with gin? Because it needs, it'll disintegrate, we need water in it. Gin's fine. Now we added the coconut and garlic puree, if I can get into it. <laughs> right, here we are. Here we go. Whoa, so it's a, it's a bit drier than the other paste. Right, so now you've got to add 150 ml of water, but the problem is... I love the measuring jug. Do you like it? It's my Tommy, Tim, Tommy, Tommy Tippy measuring cup. Those were the days, eh? So, I'm not going to fill it, I'm not, I'm not going to put the pan, because it's too small. In the frying pan, I'm going to use an external pan, another pan. Why? It's all got to go together. We'll put it in there, right? What are you doing? And we're going to just turn that heat on, right? Stir it in to fully incorporate the sauce, it says. But the thing is, right, so the so problem I've got is so it the says. pan's too small. Because I put too many Oh, so you're going to transfer that into that? I'm going to transfer that into that. Oh, you could smell it. It smells like a curry house in Bradford. Beautiful, beautiful. Smell the smell of the Asian. It smells like Dubai. Oh, it does smell really nice. I'm going to really get a nice. when we go to Dubai. There it is in there now. Uh, we've got something else to add to it. So next we add the almonds and the cream. Turn the heat down to medium low, then mix in the ground almonds with one tablespoon of sugar. We need 30 gram of ground almonds, which is about, quite a lot actually. What's about that? And uh, spill the rest of it. <laughs> One tablespoon of brown sugar. Brown sugar, that's what we're trying. <laughs> that's it, get it all the cooker. Something else. So now we've put in a tablespoon of brown sugar. The thing is, I like it sweet. So I'm going to just put a bit, bit, bit more in. You can, you, you've got a problem sticking to the rules you have. What rules? That's what I mean. It's cooking. It's a, you're meant to do it, measure it right. Did you say teaspoon or tablespoon? Tablespoon. That's all right. Look at that. That's before we put the single cream in. Oh, wow, yeah. So it's quite healthy up to now. Up to now, yeah. <laughs> We're creaming and make it unhealthy. We'll start putting more gin in. Gin in. So you let it simmer for about two minutes. Then you add the 250 ml of single cream. 
Nice. Now, I don't know if you can add double cream. Probably, but that's what it says in the recipe anyway, single. We we'll just stir that in and let it simmer for another two minutes. Getting quite hungry now. Uh huh. <laughs> is that your cue? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. So this is the, the fit. look at that. That looks beautiful. <laughs> so Lovely. We're going to add the coma spice and garnish. Cool. You know you. I nearly burnt my sleeve on that. Nice. Back on here again. Just simmer for another two minutes. Right, so while simmering, simmering, is that right? Simmering? Yeah. Simmering. Simmering. Shimmering. I'm, I'm simmering. <laughs> We're going to put the, the, bas, the basmatic. Is that basmatic. Right? The basmatic rice in, in the microwave for two minutes. <laughs> this is the taste test. Is it nice? Oh, yeah. What, out of ten? Ten. Ten out of ten for Mike's that cooking with Jim. That's simply cook. Simple mm, as that. Lovely. If I recommend keep, it. Keep, keep giving them a plug, they might send us some more. Yeah. <laughs> These poppy dumps are nice. I'm doing now. I'm putting the naan breads on now. The naan breads. Give me a naan bread cooker. I'll get some mm. gin. You've got a bit of popping on me, me curry. I haven't. You have, you put some popping on me, me curry. I haven't. Have you been dunking your popping on? No. You have? You've got a bit of a popping on me, me curry. No. You have? I've stirred it in now. Give it to kids. Mm. And this is done. we just got some naan bread to go on it. So it easily feeds four people. Cool. Brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe if you want to go to Simply Cook. I'll put all the info in the description. I recommend it's ten pound, ten pound uh, month. Well, you get four portions or four, you get four recipes for ten pound. It's worth it. That's free, free delivery. Simply cook. Take it easy. Take it easy.